Hey guys, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Thanks for joining me for another crafty venture. Today is day three of the Mermaid Hop. Hashtag Mermaids Are Real. Sponsored and hosted by my sweet friend Teresa Russell of Refresh and Renewed with Teresa and the Handmade Happiness Group. These are the two fun cards I'm making today and you can see that they're very different than my last two offerings for this hop. But I could not make a mermaid card without using my fun paper elements from Art by Marlene. So I started out by cutting down and um, scoring and folding my slimline cards. They are cut at 9 by 8 and scored at, scored at 4 inches so they end up being 9 by 4 inches. And um, yeah, so here I am. I decide that I'm going to use a window die from Whimsy and I wanted part of it to be a sky and part of it to be ocean. But it's a little bit different take on the sky and ocean. So I thought that I wanted yellow because yellow is a bright sunny sky. It's not always blue, right? Sometimes sometimes skies are just fun colors. <laughs> so my skies today are, are yellow and I went in a gradient light to dark and I'm using my cloud edger stencil and mask combo from a colorful life designs. So first I was using the mask and just going from from the edge of the I always want to call it a stencil, the edge of the mask onto the paper and that's how you get the overall look there and again I gradated my colors from light to dark and now I'm using the actual stencil and I'm going along the edge of of the pattern and I'm, again I'm coming from the acetate or mylar whatever it's made out of the plastic <laughs> and then onto the paper and then that leaves a nice soft edge but this adds like the tops to the clouds instead of it just being yeah I, I don't know how to explain it it just adds a different dimension to the clouds <laughs> as you can see and I'm not doing it on all of them I just do it on a few and I think it just adds a little more dimension and depth to my skyscape if you will so here are my two frames because I'm making two cards this is the slimline wonky window one die from Whimsy Stamps and I love me some whimsy stamps and their dies. They're so much fun. And like I said, I had to use my Art by Marlene Paper Elements Mermaids. They're just, I love them. I love, love, love them. <laughs> so I have two Paper Elements books. They're kind of ephemera, but they're a little bit thinner paper. It's not really a cardstock per se, and ephemera is usually pretty heavy duty. But these are these are the two mermaids that I'm using today. I love that she has glasses. I love that they're hippie. <laughs> and you know, when when art can kind of break down those social norms that are maladaptive, for instance, um, body image and you know, shaming people for for not being certain certain body shapes that are unrealistic for most of us. I love it. I love when art can break those boundaries and I feel like Art by Marlene does that for sure. So here's this little beauty with her glasses and her her puff balls and her hair and her red suit. I'm loving it and she's she was holding the paintbrush but I didn't want her painting. I wanted her to be eating that big old ice cream cone and, and living life large. So that's what I did. I cut it out and I just um, glued it back on right where I wanted it so glued on that ice cream cone and I'm finishing it out by I keep wanting to say taping I'm gluing I'm using my liquid glue my um, be creative precision tip glue from honeybee and I glued on the ocean seam and that is stenciled I can't remember the name of the stencil I'll try to list it down below but I used some Shimmery Goodness by the Crafters Workshop. It's a new, new to me product and it's amazing. And again, I used a gel plate pull to create that background and I stenciled over it. And um, yeah, so I just glued it all together and here I'm trying to decide which, which of my mermaids I want on the green frame. And then of course the other will go on the red frame. But I felt like this one needed the contrast between the green frame and the red mermaid and I thought that was perfect. So I added my little sky elements. I've got the sun, I've got the rainbow, I've got the little cloud. And I glued it down to my card base. And now I'm adhering the words. It says, after the rain comes sunshine. 
And that's exactly what we're having here in North Carolina this afternoon. It's been raining all night, almost all day, and now it's only like 77 degrees, but it's probably 100% humidity. And the sun is shining bright. So that was my first card. And now I'm on to my second card. So I'm using the Blonde Mermaid. She's holding her little summer drink, but I used both of my waves on the first card. So I'm back in my Elements books, kind of flipping through to see exactly what I wanted to use. And I found my waves. So these are the two waves and I'm just layering them on very much the same way. And I'm trimming off any excess that extends past the frame, unless it's something that I want to extend past the frame. Now for this sun, I decided that I wanted some rays coming off of it. So I'm using that new stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. It's actually new, what month are we in now? June, I think it was new for May, if I'm not mistaken. And again, I'll have it listed down below. And just cutting up my little sun to be kind of snugged up in that corner. But then I thought, no, I want it down a little bit more because I want to use the cloud. And y'all, do you see this fish? Do you see this fish with the balloon? I can't stand it. It's so stinking cute. So again, um, my mermaid. For both of the mermaids, I didn't say this on the last one, but I popped them up on some double-sided foam tape and then I used the wet glue to give me a little wiggle room if I needed it. And like I said, this one is holding her summer drink and the one in the red is holding her giant ice cream cone. Like I said, living large. And um, I'm taking some more clouds because I decided I wanted three clouds. So I have the big one above the sun and then I have this smaller one and I actually cut it in half. So that gives me three clouds and um, you know, odd numbers sets of threes they're more pleasing to the eye and then you can see I'm adding little fishies to the bottom and they coordinate with the fishy on the balloon like they're <laughs> jumping up they want to go with the fish on the balloon <laughs> and for my sentiment here I'm using the you are enough die from Simon Says Stamp it was new this month as well and um, I just felt like it's perfect you know you are enough no matter what no matter what you look like, no matter your socioeconomic status, your skill level, your knowledge, your life experience, whatever, you are enough just as you are. And, and that, I could stop there, that's our takeaway for the day. You are enough. But to finish out my cards, <laughs> I'm adding my stickles. I love me some stickles. Now, I don't know if these are the unicorn stickles or the crystal, but they both are just an iridescent, shimmery goodness. They dry clear, but with the glitter. And I went a little overboard. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> and then I went back and I put some glossy accents on the glasses, on her glasses. You can't see it there because, of course, I did it off screen. But that's, that's my cards. I think they're adorable. I love that they're cutting down some socioeconomic standards and norms and we're trying to break through what, what we think um, beauty is because beauty is, beauty can be anything, right? And mermaids are real. <laughs> Hashtag mermaids are real. So again, guys, this is day three of the Handmade Happiness second annual Mermaid Hop. You will find ev everybody that's participating, all the projects on all the different socials by using hashtag mermaids are real. Type it all in as one word, or you can catch it in um, my title or the description box, but hashtag mermaids are real, and that will take you on all three days. You should be able to find everybody's offerings. And guys, just give us all a like, a thumbs up, leave a comment downstairs. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. I'd love you to be part of my crafty tribe. And this has been so much fun. Thank you, Miss Teresa, for another fantastic hop. And guys, this is Nancy, the Handy Scandy. I'm out. <laughs>